this is a good time in this section of the field to try to come out with a big play, either a play action pass or get the ball upfield. See what Archie does in this situation. You know something strange, Hank? They've got both Goldbreth and Muncie out of the ball game. He's got Strong in there. No, with Goldbreth. He's got Strong. Manning with his back against the strike. No big play, Hank. No, no. No, a lot of traffic there. It's just a straight-ahead play. Mike Strong going right, zone blocking on the right side, which means that everybody just takes the man in front of him. Tony Galbraith blocks through, leads through the hole, but there's no place to go, and uh, now it's second and about nine. Well, Bill, then at a minute 58, Nick, in the third quarter, 21-10 you are, uh, in favor of Green Bay. Uh, and Nick will catch it right after this. Got his backs in a divide and a wing tee right. Is Manning going to throw? Long time. There it is. He's sneaking left, a bootleg. Manning running for the first down. We'll see whether he got it. The great Ted Husing used to call that a naked reverse. Usually what happens, he, usually what happens, he'll call the play in the huddle but not tell anybody what he's going to do to make sure it's a good fake, and he just kept the ball himself and uh, ran it out there. We'll see if he makes the first down or not. It's very close. I think he, yeah, he did get it. But he made the first down, a gutty play, a great play by Archie Manning. You know, Hank, he really is not a bad quarterback at all, as you told me last night. But I will always remember the pass he overthrew Harris on. Well, that can happen, especially that kind of a pass over the top of uh, a receiver. It's got to go right over the top of his head. It's got to be perfectly thrown. You've got to make those, those kind of throws, but in that particular case, he didn't. Don't count the Saints out yet, Bill. Now nah, there's a whole fourth quarter to go. Are you kidding? No way. Uh -huh. When they move the football, anything can still happen. Owens left, Harris right, Baxton and I. They should run left because of the defense. Play action fake left. Uh-oh. Dave Roller, seven. Just all he does is put the pressure on. He and 77, Mike Butler. Mike Butler's been playing super all day. Henry Jordan never did it any better. And he may be their all-time, well, Cal Hubbard. Oh, what a play. They're inspired today. What did Star tell him? Long play on a second down, long count. From the end zone. He's got his man, it's Harris. That's all right, though, Bill. Give him those. It's second down and 20 to go. I mean, don't come up short and then have him beat you deep for a 95-yarder. Now you still have a third and seven to go. So, you know, that, that's, you know, although they get 13 yards on this, but what the heck, it's worth it. He Thank you. Ike Harris right on the numbers and tackle there by Willie Buchanan, number 28. Buchanan, whom we haven't talked about all that much, has got to be one of the best, no? Yes, he is. He's a good one-for-one -one cover guy, a good man-for-man -man coverage guy. And so is Mike McCoy. They do an excellent job on the outside. Okay, that's the end of the third quarter. We'll return to Milwaukee County Stadium after this word from your local station. See some of your favorite 60 Minutes stories later than usual tonight, beginning at 9, 8 Central and 7 Pacific on CBS. When I, when I get you bios. back in New York, I'm going to get Kemp to come in to show you what good looks are, you miserable looking. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> Hank, yeah. we come back. Tell us about the importance of the play. It's a third down, a biggie. Yeah. Well, Luke, Hank? Yeah. There you are, third down and six, man. Yeah, did you get it? What are you going to do? I think he's going to try to uh, get the ball to Ike Harris. He's a very dependable, steady guy, and I wouldn't be a bit surprised to see him go to number 82 in this situation, or possibly the tight end, Henry Childs, depending, of course, on the coverage. All right, you got it right now, Henry. Tell me about it. What are they in? Well, they're not spacing. They're overshifted to the, to the right side. And look like they're in man-for-man -man coverage. Manning's got a Now they go to double. They double-double the outside receivers. Yep. They double the outside receivers. They, can, they disguise that very, very well. 
It we looked, can both see it. Now, okay. It looked like they were going to be in one, one for one coverage, but right on the snap of the ball, they doubled the outside receivers. Archie had to go inside and try to hit Mike Strawn. The ball was deflected by Barzalaskis, number 75, and now it's a kicking situation for New Orleans. Barzo is only 6'7", 270. He reached up like a basketball player. He dunked the ball. They're giving Manning a fit right now. Steve Odom's the deep guy. Blanchard's the kicker, one of the better ones in the National Football League, another New York giant refugee. Very long count. The rush is on, but he got it away. Oh, a super kick. Super. Odom's over the shoulder. 40, looking for space. Cannot find it. Your buddy, uh, Nick, Rich Marty, the man that uh, Hank found. And Rich Marty was knocked down in a play. Number 84 came up and made the tackle. You got the score. It's 21-10, Green Bay. Inside Firestone's newest 721 radial are two belts of steel cord. In each cord, ten strands of high-strength steel. Seven strands around two, wrapped by one. 721. Because it's a metric radial, it can use more air, so you use less gas. We call it the Fuel Fighter, designed to save you more gas than any steel-belted radial tire Firestone has ever built. Firestone's newest 721, the Fuel Fighter. The arrester has come to town. The zinc-coated double-wrap muffler from Kmart. Have it installed by Kmart. And if anything goes wrong, they'll replace it free for as long as you own your American-made car. Like other great car products, it's Kmart price. Kmart's arrester, a very inexpensive way to lock away noise. It was 21-7 at halftime, Dallas. An 11-yard run by Bobby Hammond and a 43-yard field goal by Joe Donello makes it 21 to 17. Interesting to see what they do here. They've been running the ball consistently well. Let's look for a pass on first down or a play action. See what happens. All right, Henry, we're watching. Whitehurst runs his man. Oh, it's Barty Smith. What happened? Henry? Misdirection play. It was the first time the whole game that they ran a misdirection play. They were in a, strong, in a strong right formation, which means they normally would run to the right. Watch, Barney Smith comes back to the left side. Mel Jackson pulls through the hole, go forth, uh, and Tim Stokes do a great job of blocking at the point of attack. Tommy Myers, number 37, finally gives him a clothesline tackle. You know, we're in the fourth quarter now, Bill, and it's, this is where conditioning has an awful lot to do with it. This is where you see what team has been in the best condition. 13-yard run, slot is to the left, and now he wants Middleton to go back to the other side. Look at this young man. Would you believe it? He's, an, he's unbelievable. He really is. And they've got a young safety man playing number 48 uh, for New Orleans. Instead of Ray Brown, Don Schwartz is playing that position. It's, it's a slot left formation. And the young safety man comes up. You see, but he's blocked there beautifully by Mel Jackson, number 71. A missed tackle from the inside. Alois Grooms chasing 78. Pat Hughes finally comes over and makes the tackle. I like him. I really like him. He is really a super back. This is what the Packers have needed. Nick, it's like a textbook. It's like a textbook, Hank. It's like what you were telling me last night. They're going to call a timeout right now. But the thing about it is, you said they came back to the weak side. They show them that little bit, and now they come back to the other side. A lot, Bingo. A lot depends on where that defensive safety man plays. You say he's playing very deep, this young 48 Schwartz, and as a result, they're going around there in good shape. century, a medication was created that killed athlete's foot fungus on contact. This medication is found in Aftate for athlete's foot. Aftate relieves burning, itching, cracking. Aftate for athlete's foot. 
with a medication that kills athlete's foot fungus on contact. There's a whole new breed of Mustang coming October 6th. The all-new 79 Mustang from Ford. With a dramatic new aerodynamic design, precise handling, and Mustang performance with options of V6, V8, even a turbocharged engine. In two-door and three-door models, the new breed of Mustang for 79. Coming to your Ford dealer October 6th. If you want to know if the pack is back, just look at the folks. Oh, the last man to want to run 100 yards for the Packers, October 3rd, 1976, Willard Harrell. He used to be known as Harrell, but he wants to be known as Harrell. Counselor, I stay with you. Henry, tell me. Ray Brown is back in the game at safety. There he is in pursuit. He throws him out of bounds. Number 27. They took Schwartz out. 48 and uh, Brown made the tackle, number 27. On Simpson, they're giving Middleton a little bit of a rest. Turdell Middleton, hey, I saw a kid in Cleveland last week named Keith Wright. Beautiful looking football player. He and Middleton played on the same team. They couldn't have been too bad. Did Middleton come back in? You better believe it. The next yard he gets is the first time in how many years that your friend Harrell? October 3rd, 76, so he'll need a yard here to go over that. All right. The young man's number is 34. Barty Smith is 33. The slot is to the right. New Orleans in despair. They're in trouble, too. Whitehurst got oh, a touchdown. Got him. The big guy. McGeorge. Rich McGeorge. Nine years out of Eli. Woo. Boy, what a play. And, and Pat Hughes was back there trying to read the action of the quarterback, but he just didn't get it done well enough. And of course, he throws a perfect strike. Henry, you can see it right now along with the folks. Tell me. Play action pass, slot side. He gets pressure. He gets pressure from the right side, but he throws the ball. Pat Hughes is the only one back there, and he just can't make the play. McGeorge is not the fastest man in the world, but He's, he caught the ball. He sure isn't. The Saints are in shock. You have seen it. We have ourselves a 28-10 game. We are now about to find out where Elon College is. <laughs> and our authority on that, Mr. Bonacanti, will research it for you and tell you right that we come back. Today, you'll turn a mountain of canvas and a truckload of living dynamite into one of the world's oldest fantasies the circus and together with every man and beast you've got you'll haul and shove and shake that mountain until you finally reach the moment that says it's done now comes miller time time to head for the best tasting beer you can find miller high life America's quality beer since 1855. When it's time to relax, one beer stands clear. Beer after beer, if you've got the time, we've got the beer. Miller Beer. There's Bart Starr on the sideline. He doesn't show a lot of animation, but you can rest assured that he's very, very happy inside. Nick, where is Elon College? Elon College in North Carolina. Is that Ooh. a, what did we get just now? A record over there, four touchdowns? Last time a Green Bay quarterback threw a TD pass was in 68 versus the Cowboys. That's four TD passes. Here's Mr. Chandler. Oh, what a hit. Welcome to the NFL, West Chandler. Hey, Howard, Bill. Howard, Samson, where did you come from? Oh, did he hit Chandler? Henry, this is the man you like so much, Mr. Chandler. Look at Howard Samson. Look at this. Look at this hit. That's exactly the way. If you were to make a highlight film on tackling, that's you'd certainly use that one. 28 to 10. Manning with less than 13 minutes to make it up. You've got to go to the air. Swings it. 
too hard for Dolbreth, who's a little upset about the pass. Right, he should have caught that one. He had a chance to catch it, and again, I think he took his eye off the ball a little bit with the anticipation of running upfield, and he dropped the ball. Henry, you know these guys probably better than anybody in the stadium, let's face it, except for their new kids. What's their situation? Well, I think the big situation really is everybody was very concerned about the way we played defensively last year, and there was a lot of speculation about the fact that they would be much, much better this year, and they use a lot of different alignments, but you see the situation really hasn't changed any. If anything, they're not as good at this stage as we were a year ago. Buchanan doubling up to the outside. He gets Tinker Owens, and he gets Bella too. But he made the first down. Did he? He really got popped. Yeah, he paid his dues for that one, but he made uh, a good, good reception, and this is what he does so well. He's a very outstanding possession receiver. Next Sunday, 60 Minutes opens a new season with three brand new stories, including the story of the television game played for the highest stakes, the rating game. Later in the evening, the Emmy Award show, television's tribute to its top shows and performers. Wes Chandler's in the ball game. Watch the bomb. All right. He wants to get it. He's rushed. Gets it to all oh, Goldberg's in trouble. Henry. Three consecutive passes that Tony has missed. And he's another serious, uh, conscientious guy. And sometimes he misses one ball. He's so concerned about the last one he missed that he might miss another one. And this, is, I think, is what's happening now. Yeah, but if the quarterback's got to know that, Hank, why does he keep going back to him? Because he's the open receiver. You take what they give you, and he's wide open, and you've got to throw the ball to the open man. And, the, uh, you know, he's a great receiver. He'll come back and catch him, but he just happens to drop the last three balls that were thrown to him. Second down and ten. What kind of a test does Manning have? Trailing 28 to 10. He's got his man out here. Larry Hardy made that reception, the tight end. He's in there for Henry Childs. He's a rookie from Jackson State. Yes, he is, and they like him very much. And in fact, they like him so much that they uh, traded a, a tight end from last year, Daxton, to the St. Louis Cardinals. They actually put him on uh, waivers, and uh, the St. Louis Cardinals picked him up. Nick, do you know what surprises me here? Ike Harris is virtually silent. Well, looks to me like they're jamming the heck out of him. Buchanan is playing right, right on now. He loosened on him now. Manning's got a rush. No chance. Oh, you Roller, know that. Roller was back there again. I tell you, Nick talked about him a little while ago, but he's a great football player. He doesn't get much credit, but he's in there all the time, dancing every dance, and there's a good illustration. He put a lot of pressure on Archie Manning. You know why, Hank? Because if you look at the man with all his equipment, it looks like he should be working, in no disrespect, in a brewery, loading heads of beer onto a truck. He doesn't have a great physique. He doesn't look like he's ever lifted a weight in his life. But all he can do is play football. That's all it takes when you get on that field. That's a good observation, Nick. Who do we have as the deep guy now for Steve Odom? One of the best. One of the best in the league at returning him. Blanchard's going to have to boot it away. New Orleans in serious trouble. That's an understatement. Mr. Odom's got to run a long way. They're setting it up for him. Nah, no chance. 70 wrapped him up. Meserol, number 70, did a good job of covering the outside on the play. 46-yard kick. Oh, what Green Bay has wrought today. They lead it 28 to 10. Coming October 6th, a new American road car. The all-new Ford LTD for 79. With more front and rear seat room, more driver convenience, more handling ease, and more window area than last year's LTD. A road car to take you across town or across the country. This land is your land. This land is my land. Test drive the new LTD October 6th at four dealers across the country. Zenith is having a 60th birthday party, and you get the presents. Buy one of Zenith's new 25-inch System 3 table or console models, and Zenith will send you a check for up to $60.
There are 33 beautiful models to choose from. And when you select yours, Zenith will send you a birthday check for up to $60. That's the best deal ever on the best Zenith ever, Zenith System 3. So come on over to our 60th birthday party at your Zenith dealer and pick out your present. One week from tomorrow, CBS launches its new Monday night season with a marvelous lineup starting with two new shows. First, it's the comedy WKRP in Cincinnati, then the show that focuses on interesting personalities, people. After that, stand by for the season premiere of those three Monday night favorites, MASH, One Day at a Time, and Lou Grant. Whitehurst at the controls. Mr. Landers, they, they could run me up the middle now. That offensive line, Hank, is killing them. Well, I don't know if we could go that to that extreme. Oh, come on, But uh, <laughs> I tell you, the secret of the whole thing, really, is the fact that the offensive line of the Green Bay Packers is coming off the ball terrifically well, knocking off the Saints uh, from the line of scrimmage, and that's why they're making the yard. He picked up eight yards, and it's fun to be a quarterback when it's second and one, second and two. Bill Conti, yeah. couldn't I have run on that? Absolutely, Bill. You see how enthusiastic <laughs> the Packers are breaking the huddle? That's what it's all about. Here's Ed Middleton. Oh! A hundred yards. I love him. Hey, Bill, you know who's on that People Show? That sweetheart, Phyllis George, is hosting the People Show. She is absolutely a dynamite girl. Wasn't she sensational last oh, night on the on the beauty pageant? She, she's I, absolutely She great. stole the show. She really did. She's fantastic. Phyllis, I love you, too. I wonder if she'll interview you, Bill. They just won't give me a chance here. Remember, right after this, the U.S. Open, Pam Shriver uh, against Chrissy, and then Jimmy Connors against Bjorn Borg, a first and ten. Hank. They talked a great deal about using the flex defense. And they've used every defense in the history of football this afternoon trying to stop this uh, Green Bay team, and they haven't succeeded yet. That was Walter Landers, but they're just blowing him off the football, and... Uh, that's what it's all about, but they're changing alignments consistently and they're having a hard time stopping this great Green Bay Packer team. Bill, isn't it wonderful for Bart Starr to be able to forget the draft, go to a small school like Clark, get a free agent named Landers, put him into the ball game, and have him perform like this? That's why I said to both you guys, I think I could run behind that line, but you won't do that for me. All right. They're in a divide. This is the Sherman kind of divide with a back set up behind the guards. They got Middleton that time. That's the first time they ran that kind of a play since they did it early in the game on short yardage. Uh, it's a slower hitting play, and uh, they didn't get the blocking on the left side like they did before, and uh, as a result, they didn't make any yardage on the play. Look, you two guys have been in the game a long time. I have. How do you explain this? No, seriously. This is the team that beat Minnesota last week. What happened? Well, anything can happen. You know, the fact that, that Minnesota, uh, they beat Minnesota doesn't mean that Minnesota is that great a team this year either. They're not playing nearly as well defensively. And uh, really, they won the game because they were able to run the ball and move the ball well against the Minnesota Vikings. But that's why they won the football. They didn't stop them. How do you like Middleton, Henry? Oh, he's sensational. He's really sensational. There, there's a, a little fisticuffs going on right now. They're stretching the pores a little bit. Uh, gentlemen, there's no need for that because truthfully, none of you will get a shot at the heavyweight championship of the world. I don't care what you weigh. That's Nick Greg Cook, Cook, number 68, who was in the middle of that. No relation to Greg Cook, who once quarterback the Cincinnati Bengals. He spells his name a little differently, and he weighs just a tad more than Greg Cook did. Let's see if there's going to be any ejection from the game. Joe Campbell was in on that fisticuffs, I think, and he's been in several of them last year. Uh, he was fined several times last year, and you, you would think that he learned his well, lesson, but evidently he hasn't. Joe Campbell is now leaving the game. I don't know if he's been ejected or whether the Saints just took him out of the ball game. We'll have to wait and see because there's a flag down on the field. We will. There are two of them. We'll shortly see the authorities on the field dispense justice. That is he on the sideline. Now, if he's been thrown out of the game, he must leave the bench. He cannot stay on the field. Let's see what happens, because our referee, Chuck Heverling, will tell us very shortly. It's against New Orleans. Costly, a very costly penalty at this stage of the football game. Here you see Joe Campbell. Oh. Unnecessary roughness. 
Number 73, defense. First down. Uh, you think he's upset a little, Bill? Bonacanti, I've seen you in similar <laughs> situations. You were just a little more facile. Oh, yeah, he's upset. With the excitement and all the things that have happened and the way they run the football, interesting to see whether on this play they'll run a play action, something to get a big play from in this uh, position on the field. Nope. Now they just went up the middle. Hank, they're doing what Bonacani wanted them to do, run a clock out. That's right. They're going to do that. There's no doubt about it in my mind. If you're going to see anything from Green Bay, it's going to be a play action pass, a pass to a halfback, or it's going to be a screen or a drop. I don't think the Packers with a lead 28 to 10 are going to put the ball up in the air and take a chance of giving it up. Remember now, immediately at the conclusion of this game, we go to Flushing Meadows in New York where Chrissy Everett will play the youngest finalist in the history of the U.S. Open. Chrissy was 16 years, nine months old when she played there. This youngster is nine months younger. She's incredible. Pam Schreiber against Chrissy and then Connors against Gore. Meantime, surgically, Whitehurst operates. Looks for the touchdown to Lofton and overthrows it. Well, I'm wrong. You know, one thing that's interesting about this game so far, either team, either team has run a draw play from scrimmage in the entire game. And they've thrown the ball considerably. They've thrown some play action passes, but they still haven't thrown uh, or used a draw play. And it'll be interesting to see somewhere in here whether they don't use one because I think it could be a very effective call. Uh, Bill, just for the fans' information, Campbell was ejected from the ball game. Vociferous as he was on the sideline, it doesn't do the Saints any good when he's there. Now, and he's got to leave the field. You know, uh, I could use the old phrase, boys will be boys, but he chose a rather inappropriate moment. Whitehurst with a slot right. The rush is on him. He still gets it away. He's got a man open. Oh! Oh! Mr. Simpson. Oh, and he had Merlo. He had a step on Merlo. The ball was right on the money. It was a semi rollout right, and he threw back against the grain to get a single on the halfback with Jim Merlo. He had him licked, but he just dropped the football. Look at Whitehurst with Bart Starr. He's saying, well, you had Dowler, <laughs> and you had Carol Dale, please. But that was a heck of a play. And he had Horning, and he had Taylor, and he had Hampton, and he had Anderson. He had a few horses. He had Thurston, <laughs> Kramer, Skronsky, Greg. Here's Marco. What will he do? No good, wide left. That's the first thing Green Bay has not accomplished today. I'm going to give you a trivia question. Go ahead. Who in the NFL wears more championship rings than anybody else? We'll find out momentarily when we come back to Milwaukee with the score 28 to 10 Packers. Think you can't afford great stereo? Think again. Think of JCPenney's new MCS Series 33-watt system. Think of an incredible everyday saving of $230 when you purchase the 33-watt system as a package. Think of getting $829 worth of magnificent sound components for only $600. JCPenney's MCS Series 33-watt system. Think of the sound. Think of the service. Think of the savings. You won't have to think again. This amazing motor oil from Exxon can actually save money. Golden Natural Uniflow. Uniflow was tested in cars like yours. After break-in, it delivered an overall average of 16 extra miles per tank full. Savings like that could cut your gasoline bill the equivalent of about three cents a gallon. Every day you wait to change to Uniflow could cost you money. Uniflow conserves gasoline, saves money. Folks, with the almost indefatigable memory that I have, plus the assurances of Billy Barnes who told me, the answer is Mar Fleming. Okay, New Orleans has got it now. They're serious. They're in trouble. You can see why. Had the man completely open, Henry. Yeah, I don't know what happened on that play. Uh, you know, he was wide open and should have been hit. It's a Speak, flood, Henry. flood pattern to the left. Archie has plenty of time to throw. Throws inside, way behind 
the receiver Mike Strawn incomplete. Let me add that Marv Finley Fleming played on the great teams here at Green Bay. Then in a trade came down to Miami and played on the great Super Bowl teams of the Dolphins. Who else was on that team? Nick? A divide, long count. Manning, rush on, swings it out to Goldbreath. He's got room. Look at this big guy. Boy, he's something, isn't he? Oh, he really is. You know, you feel, I, I must tell you, the old gag was, you know, feeling like watching your mother-in-law go over Niagara Falls in a new car, but you kind of feel sorry. Galbraith's an outstanding football player. So is Muncie. By the way, Muncie's not been anywhere today, Hank. Hey, you haven't what seen about Muncie too much. Here's a pass out here, a screen to Tony Galbraith. Good block there by 66, Conrad Dobler. Roller made the tackle, and Johnny Gray, 74-25. 643 remaining. He's got to put the ball in the air. He hit his man beautifully. Lovely catch. Tinker Owens, 83. Bill, you know, down in Miami, we were, whenever West Chandler, 89, now the reason I say this is because Owens, who was the veteran, came in and everybody thought Chandler, the number one draft choice, would step right in and replace Tinker Owens. It has not happened. When Chandler played with Florida, he used to give everybody indigestion in Miami because they used to play the University of Miami and totally destroy them. But he hasn't broken into the starting lineup yet. Second down and short. He's going to throw it anyway. Swings it out. It's Goldbreath. Boy, he's running like a, a mad bull. See, exactly the same play as he ran on the preceding down. All it is is a flood pattern to the weak side. Mike Strawn is leading the play and he makes a block downfield see the block by mike strawn another block down there by john hill number 62. johnny graves the guy that finally put him down they yep. got a first down clock is a factor they're behind by 18 with five and a half to go it's going to take a miracle everybody downfield he hits gold breath again no way that he could avoid them all that's Gary Weaver, not a bad football player, that outside linebacker we saw last yes, night. Yes, he is. He's very active, very active, and recognizes run-pass situations extremely well. In the meanwhile, the Saints are eating up the clock for the Packers. Short passes, tackles, 25, 30 seconds elapses on the clock, playing right into the hands of Green Bay Packer coach Bart Starr. That's all you can ask for. Marty and, which, and Wes Chandler are the outside receivers. He went for Marty, didn't he? Yes, he went for Marty into the post and was really rushing through the ball, really threw the ball, falling away, and uh, threw it over the top. Gary Weaver, 52, put some pressure on the quarterback, Hank. The blitz was on, which is I'm sort of surprised because Green Bay has been playing good secondary defense, but that time they decided to blitz Gary Weaver, and it was effective. Nick, tell me something. I don't want to put the pressure on Hank. What does this team like on offense, New Orleans, with all the horses they got? You know, it looks like they're very complacent offensively. I, I, I'm watching Chandler run patterns, and it almost looks like he, he feels that all he has to do is go through the motions. They're just not, they're just not determined. That's what they're missing. Third down and a big five. He's got the first down. See, that's really the kind of a play you ought to run to Wes Chandler because Chandler is so quick out in the open that he might be, maybe would make a defensive back miss a tackle and go all the way. Uh, Tinker Owens is a very sure receiver but would not stretch that kind of a play into a long game because he doesn't have the great speed. You know, like you say, Owens is a great receiver, but when you're playing defense, the guy you want to have the ball is Owens. Now, Owens has six receptions for 46 yards, and that's not a great average. Look at what Lofton has, three for 107. Swing pass out to the right. That's Van Wagner. That's Wagner. And there you see the big difference between a back like Galbraith and a guy like Wagner. He's a fine young back, but uh, there's a big drop off in efficiency when Tony Galbraith and also uh, Chuck Muncie are out of the ballgame. Sports quiz. Go ahead. Who is the last Packer receiver to catch three TDs in one game? You told me before, Hudson. No, wrong. Max McGee. Oh, wait a second. I just lost my 63 against the Rams. Hudson had four? He had four. 
Well, Bonacani wins the crown. Manning's got to go long. He's got his man. And that's your man Owens again. Taker Owens, he caught that ball coming across the middle, and he's a sure, he's a very sure-handed receiver. Watch this again. And he goes down into the middle of the defense, and the ball is a little bit behind, really. Watch him, you see, but he jumps up in the air and makes sure that he catches the ball, which he did, a big play for the New Orleans Saints. You know what I remember most about him, Nick? Remember Oklahoma, Michigan? I remember the schools. Oof. He killed them in the Sugar Bowl. First down and goal. Mm. Oh. Hank, Hank, tell me something. Where is Muncie? Uh, obviously, uh, Chuck is hurt. He had a. He got hurt last week in a game against the Vikings, and evidently he got stung again today and wasn't able to play. Uh, the entire contest. The guy who made the stick, Bill, is a second-round draft choice out of Minnesota, number 55. That's Mike Hunt. I want you to come up here and just fill this hole. Watch him. Crunch. Oh, great, great destruction. It's thrown again. He wants the touchdown. He's got it. Mike Strong running to his left, goes in for the touchdown. It's Barry, a play Barry apart. Weaver makes the makes the hit on this play, but it's a little late. A strong smells daylight, so he just cuts it right up. Hit by Weaver, but not enough, and Strong gets the touchdown. 201 remaining on the clock, 28 to 16. Zaro will try the extra point, Bill. How do you utilize the clock here? You just got the one second because the clock is stopped. You're going to have another timeout with a two-minute warning. Any advantage here, Hank? You're talking about Green Bay? Yeah. Well, they're going to very obviously run, 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 and try to consume as much time as they possibly can. That's going to be the strategy. They're going to try to get good field position on a punt, on a kickoff return, and then they're going to keep it on the ground if they can. 28 to 17 in favor of the pack, and this has been a day for Milwaukeeans and a day for all people who love the Green Bay team. A disappointing day, obviously, for New Orleans. Well, it's still a long way from being over. Two minutes and one second. As explosive as New Orleans is, they still have a chance to come back into this game and do something. One week from tomorrow, CBS launches its new Monday night season with a marvelous lineup starting with two new shows. First, it's the comedy WKRP in Cincinnati, then the show that focuses on interesting personalities, people. After that, stand by for the season premieres of those three Monday night favorites, MASH, One Day at a Time, and Blue Grant. Now, you guys were talking about Phyllis George before. Let me talk about my friend, Alan Alder. You have a friend? <laughs> Folks, what can I tell you? That's the hardship I've had to work under today. They're looking for an onside kick, obviously. And there it is. Look out! New Orleans might have a chance. Who got the football? Green Bay got it, I think. They did. Yes, they did. That was a remarkable recovery. It looked like he lost it, but he has possession, and Green Bay has great field position. James Lofton. Why not? Boys, he made some big plays in this <laughs> game. He's done everything else. Why not recover this? Henry, recapture it. It's an onside kick to the left, and you see the ball bobbled. Watch Lofton. But fortunately, he's able to, to pounce back on the football, and it's a big play because it provides Green Bay with a good opportunity to have field position. When you break horses for a living and you do it wrong, they can break you first. But when you do it right, you can turn a terrified animal into a horse a man can count on. And now comes Miller time. Time to head for the best tasting beer you can find. Miller High Life. If you've got the time. If you've got the time. We've got the beer. Miller Beer. Since the very first automobile was made in America, more than 2,500 new cars have been introduced. But the best-selling new car ever introduced is this one. 
Ford at Fairmont. Fairmont has great EPA mileage estimates unsurpassed by any midsize car and the lowest sticker price of any car in its class. In fact, Fairmont has the most room for the money of any car. Ford Fairmont, the best-selling new car ever introduced. Sedans, wagons, exciting Futuras. See them all at your local Ford dealer. New Orleans tried the onside, couldn't capitalize on it. Slot is to the left for Green Bay. Boy, I tell you one thing, Hank, they're running everybody. Walter Landers that time. And Mel Jackson, I tell you, number 71, the right guard, he really does a good job of pulling on, on the play and knocking people down. Son of a gun, there was a fumble. New Orleans came up with a ball. Let's pick it up again, Hank. Here we are. It's a play to the right as you can see a good hole look at look at Mel Jackson out in front Tommy Myers from the inside makes a tackle along with Eloise Grooms there's a fumble on the play Simpson and, is a guy who ran it and uh, New Orleans has possession first and 10 minute and 47 sec seconds on the clock remember what Bonacone said just a minute ago he said he'd have had their best backs in there Manning still got a chance. This game isn't over. He's got a man open. It's I, Harris. Ike Harris, number 82. And the Green Bay defense is playing very soft. They don't want to give up a big play, but in the process, uh, you know, they hope that they lead up a lot of time and move the ball down the field. See, they're using up a lot of time right now. They really ought to call a timeout. Minute 25, but the officials just stopped it because there's been an undue delay. Yeah, but it's running now. Now it is, and right. Wasting, wasting, wasting a lot time. of time. Yeah. Oh, a beautiful catch by Childs. It goes to the sideline. This game isn't over. Here. I said that a minute ago. I said that a minute ago. This game is far from being over. As explosive as New Orleans is, watch Archie back in the pocket. And he sets up and throws nicely. Good protection. And this is a tough throw right over the top of two people. Henry Childs, great hands, makes the reception and runs out of bounds, stops the clock. To the Green Bay 33. Boy, the complexion changes immediately. An onside kick, you never know. I want to tell you, 28-17. The folks here are queasy right now. Manning, looking now, he's got Chandler wide right. He gets good protection. He's got a man all alone. It's Goldbreath who made a mistake going to the field. Oh, Hank, bad play. Should have gone to the side. Yeah, he line. should have that time. He came inside anticipating outside pressure, ran back to the inside of the field. New Orleans now wisely calls a timeout. They had to, to stop the clock. Yes. Now, Goldbreath in a situation like that, Hank, wouldn't he be aware of what was going on? I'll, tell me about that in a minute. Let me just tell the folks again that it's Chrissy Everett against Pam Shriver in the ladies' finals. And then, of course, in the men's finals, Jimmy Connors will go against the man who is trying to become only the third person in the history of tennis to make the Grand Slam. Bjorn Borg trying to do what Don Budge did and what Rod Laver did. Now, Hank, I asked you, wouldn't Galbraith have been aware that he ought to go to the sideline? Well, it's, you know, it's a feel thing. He, he caught the ball going to the sideline, and he felt in his own heart probably that they were going to be there on the outside. He possibly could go inside and make a big play, and that's ev evidently what his thinking was uh, because he's much, very much aware of the fact that he should probably try to get out of bounds, but he was a, a long way from the sideline, and he felt maybe he could make a big play to the inside. 57 or uh, 56 seconds enough. What do you think? 50. Well, they've got to they've got to keep trying to move the ball down the field. They got to get it down the field and uh, try to make a big play. They got Marty in the game. 84. There's Manning. There he is again, wide open. Now he goes out of bounds, but they're dropping off, giving them the stuff out in front, hoping that they'll use up a lot of time. They don't care what the score is as long as they win. And this is the attitude, I guess, of what they're doing defensively at this time, the Green Bay Packers. It's on the 20. What kind of defense Green Bay going to do against them? Anderson made the stop. Well, they're using they're using some zone. They're using a 4-3 four, three, four, three alignment, basically. But the closer you get to the goal line, the tougher it is to play the zone because, uh, you know, you're running out of room and you've got to tighten up the defense. What are you going to call right now? I would right now at this stage of the game, I would try to get the ball again to the outside receiver if at all possible. 
but they're going to throw inside again to Galbraith. He's got a shot inside. Look at him. First down. Oh, he is. He is a bull. Johnny Gray finally took him down. Watch Galbraith in just a moment as we isolate on him. Hank. He's run this play. It's a quick screen to the right. He makes a fine, but he's, he does this so well. He, make, he runs so well out into the open. Johnny Gray, number 24, uh, finally makes the tackle. But he's run that play as well as anybody I've seen run it from a running back situation. Cost him another timeout, though. Incidentally, next week, no, incidentally, Chicago, Detroit, Philadelphia, New Orleans, San Francisco against Houston, and Tampa Bay takes on Minnesota. Washington against St. Louis. Then our doubleheader game, Dallas versus Los Angeles. And I suggest you consult your local listings for the game and time in your area. Some cities would only see single game due to the NFL blackout policy. Boy, I tell you, this game has changed in complexion. I can just sense it gut-wise. Oh, sure. But, you know, that with all the weapons, and as quickly as this team can score, why well, you better hang on to your seat because anything can happen. And this is a great illustration of how explosive this team is offensively. The problem they've had is stopping people. They just can't get the ball away from the other team. A long pass to Harris. I gotta tell you. Now, All right, let's see what Manning does they'll now. They'll go to the outside receivers. They're in a bump and run situation. They'll throw the try to throw the ball over the top. See here it is. See it. Interference back there? No. No, no. If anything, yeah, he did call it. Interference on 83. I think that's what he called. Let's see it. I, I felt there was interference. Mike, I thought he held him up. Mike McCoy. Let's see what happens here. He's thrown to the outside receiver. He was one on one. I don't know whether it was in that white, that five yard frame or not. And you can't tell. You see, I called it against New Orleans. I thought it was. Tinker Owens was holding on the play. He got his arm tangled up in, in uh, Mike McCoy's, and I think this is what the call is. All right, Mr. Referee. You've marked it off as being a 10 yard penalty. Now, please tell us. Offensive pass interference, number 83, first down. What a tough play. It's the one thing in the world you don't want to happen to. You got the 10 yards, the loss of it now. Well, the thing that he was thinking, he didn't want, he wanted to make sure that McCoy didn't intercept the pass. You see, he was a little bit underneath, so he evidently tried to jar the ball loose if in, in the event that it was an interception. 33 seconds remain. Manning has got to go on top. Rushes on. He gets it away, and it is tapped and knocked down. Almost intercepted. What a super play by number 24. Johnny Gray. That was really a super play by the defensive back, Johnny Gray. Is Hank, evaluate Green Bay to me. What do you think of them? They're much better, as I mentioned earlier. They're much better physically in person than they looked in the films. I'm very, very surprised. I really thought down deep at the, the New Orleans Saints, and I was trying to be objective and, and, uh, and weigh it carefully, but I really thought that the New Orleans Saints would win this game handily today because I didn't think that the Green Bay Packer offense was explosive enough, even though that the New Orleans team is not a good team, hasn't been that good defensively, I just didn't think that they would do as good a job as they've done today. Unnecessary roughness, he calls against number 56. Did I hear him correctly? Or was it 66? Yeah, he called it on Dobler. He got Dobler for unnecessary roughness. They got a long way to go. Clock is down to 27. Manning threw it bad. 78 put the rush on him. See, the other thing, you got to be careful on that kind of a play. It could have been a lateral. Tony Galbraith was disappointed that he didn't make the catch. But if it was a lateral and would have been construed as such, Roller could have picked it up and gone for a touchdown. 78, it Ezra Johnson. Not a bad football player. Oh, he's, uh, you know, they tell me he runs a 40 and 4-5, and that's really unusual for a, a defensive lineman as big and strong as he is. You know that Manning has now thrown 50 passes? 
33 for 50. I can't believe it. You know, the one thing that you, you found out last week, Minnesota threw 48 and they lost. You throw 48 or 50 times in a game, you don't, you're not going to win many games. Intercept? No. Incomplete. You're just not going to win many many games when you throw it 48 like Frank Tarkington threw it last week or they're throw it through here today 51. Watch Michael Hunt 55 on this play Hank. Yeah. Archie back back to throw. A lot of time. Then he finally gets in trouble because of uh, roller runs out of the pocket trying to hit Henry Childs. But Steve Luke and Johnny Gray are in on the play along with Mike Hunt the middle linebacker. That's the kid, from the kid from Minnesota. Yeah. He must be pretty good. He's taking Carter's place. Yes, he is. Nine, uh, 13 seconds to go. Third and 25. They're in trouble. They've been in trouble a long time now. Tinker Owens is the only guy that's been able to catch the ball. But they'll give him that one because it's a possession kind of play. It takes a lot of time. Timeout for New Orleans. Fourth down coming up with four seconds left in the game. A very unusual turn of events because I mentioned earlier I really thought that the New Orleans Saints team with the firepower they have offensively uh, would win here today because I didn't think that Green Bay could do as well as they did offensively but they did a fantastic job of moving the football both running and passing and you have to give them a lot of credit. You can be fooled on movies can't you? You certainly can. Next Sunday, 60 Minutes opens a new season with three brand new stories, including the story of the television game played for the highest stakes, the rating game. Later in the evening, the Emmy Awards show television's tribute to its top shows and performers. Henry, I want to say this publicly. I really appreciate the two hours and a half that you gave me last night on the films. I learned more about football than I had ever seen before, and I really appreciate it. Well, thank you, Bill. I enjoyed it tremendously, and it gave us a great opportunity to pr prepare well for this game. I never thought Green Bay would do what they're doing. No, I, I, I never thought so either. This is probably the last play of the ball game. Four seconds to go. Manning looking. Tony Gabbard wide open again. He overthrew him, and the game is over. The game is over. The clock has run out. A great win for Green Bay. There's Bart shaking hands with Dick Nolan. Look at the man. He never shows an emotion, but what a win. 28-17. Silicon dioxide is one of nature's most abundant chemicals. Sand. For years, tons of it have been used to make glass. Like this old windshield. Today, a Monsanto chemical called polyvinyl butyrol makes your windshield much safer in an accident. No chemical is totally safe all the time everywhere. But to make driving safer, we need chemicals like polyvinyl butyrol. Without chemicals, life itself would be impossible. 70 calories. That's for me. That's extra light. Half the calories, all the taste, naturally. How do you like that beer? We love it. That's because naturally brewed Pabst Extra Light has 70 calories, half the calories of our regular beer. It's a lot less filling, and I get all the taste I want. Pabst Extra Light. Half the calories, all the taste, naturally. Don't say light. Say extra light. Green Bay 28, New Orleans 17. Nick, I know you want to get to your man. Go, baby, go. I have the privilege of interviewing James Lofton. Three touchdowns, 107 yards, one touchdown short of Don Hudson's record. James, your feelings on the game? Well, it was a good team effort, and in any game where a receiver gets a score, it's always because of the opportunities that are presented in front of them. It's not like you can always beat a defensive back, but... When your offensive line is blocking one, your quarterback has time to make the correct read, and it just makes it a lot easier for the receivers also. James, I think you're being very modest. On a couple of those receptions, you had three receptions, every one for a touchdown. There was one short pass that you turned into a 47-yard touchdown with a brush block by one of your guards. Your great speed had a lot to do with it. Well, I, I'm just, I guess I have to thank my track coach, Peyton Jordan, on that one, but uh, there's not much more I can say. 
Well, we're going to look at some of the replays of the touchdowns in just a moment. Right here now, can you describe the action if you can see the monitor? I think this is down near the goal line. Yeah, we just ran a quick slant, and the ball came to me right there. And Oh. <laughs> guy tried to come over the top of me I landed in the end zone with the ball now we're gonna look at this from a different angle it just didn't land into your hands James you had to do an acrobatic catch to make this so this is the type of thing that receiver has to do I mean if you're gonna play and be successful you got to make good catches once in a while what about Bart Starr and the Green Bay Packers where do you see them going from here well the only place we can go is up if you look at the re record from the previous years I think there's a lot of positive people in the organization there's been a youth movement and a lot of people always say well youth movement takes time and then they stress that it maybe it's taking too much time but I think we're headed in the right direction you can't really say what kind of season we're going to have now but I think we're going to be successful one thing that's obvious to everybody who watched this game is the enthusiasm of the Green Bay Packers you came out to play a game we did um, last week we had a good victory and defense keyed it and this week's offense just knew that we needed a little bit more emphasis from our part because we have an excellent defense. A few times we um, gave them bad situations out there on the field, but overall, I think both offensively and defensively, we played excellent football. Congratulations to you, Jim, and the Green Bay Packers. Now we'll turn it back up to Bill Mazur up in the booth. Thank you, Nicholas, and thank you, James Lofton. Super. What a young football player that one is. James Lofton, three touchdowns, one shy of the all-time record for Green Bay by the incredible Don Hudson. All right, Dallas, revivified, 34-24 in the fourth quarter of play. As we continue to look at other scores, how about this one, 35-30, Washington. Oh, Dick Vermeil, 10-10, Cleveland with a comeback now in the fourth quarter of play. I don't believe this. Pittsburgh, 14-10 with Seattle in the fourth quarter. Kansas City, Marv Levy must be... I don't know what he's using. It's 17 to 6 in the third quarter of play. Do we have any others, gentlemen? All right. That is Bart Starr, a young man by any stretch of the imagination who is in a dichotomous position. For it was he who most epitomizes to fans in this magnificent Green Bay Packer area the greatness that was Green Bay's, the 11 marvelous championships that they won, the era of Hudson, the era of Lambeau, the era of Vince Lombardi. Has he got the pack back? Well, they're 2-0 right now. It's been a long time since. The U.S. Open finals are coming up next. And, of course, Mr. Bjorn Borg trying to become the third man in the history of tennis to win the Grand Slam. His predecessors, Rod Laver and Don Budge. And then, of course, the electrifying 16-year-old Pam Shriver against Chrissy Everett. It has been a marvelous afternoon for me. Thank you, Hank Stram. Thank you, Nick Bonacotti. I enjoyed your being here. I've learned a lot from both of you. Green Bay won it 28 to 17. The NFL on CBS is a presentation of CBS Sports. This is CBS.